Welcome to the short video on choosing Creative Commons licenses. This video will run through the process of choosing an open license for a new resource using the Creative Commons' license generator. Have you seen those Creative Commons license plates that appear at the bottom of OpenCourseWare pages? Um, as an example, here is MIT's OpenCourseWare page. And if we scroll down to the bottom, uh, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, the Creative Commons license plate. In this case, by NCSA, attribution, non-commercial, share alike. We're gonna work out how to make these little number plates. Firstly, we need to go to the Creative Commons site and uh, the URL is creativecommons.org. And once the page has appeared, we're going to look across the top menu for licenses. And in this case, um, it's the second item. The drop down box that appears has uh, a number of options, but the one we are particularly interested in is choose a license. Click on there. Once the license page appears, Access the first panel entitled License Features and consider the first of two questions. Question one asks, allow adaptations of your work to be shared? In other words, can the user take and change or adapt your work so that it better suits a different context? Can they translate it, tweak the language, add images, etc.? There are, in fact, three potential answers. Yes, no, and yes, as long as others share alike. This last option means that the derivative work, the new version of your resource, must carry the same license. The second question, allow commercial uses of your work, means that you don't mind if the user sells either your original resource or the new version based on your work. Select either yes or no. The panel on the right, entitled Selected License, immediately reflects the consequences of your decisions by assigning the appropriate icons that make up the license. Feel free to adjust your choices until you're satisfied. Notice that the message, this is a free culture license, appears when you have selected a non-restrictive license. This means that the combination of rights you have reserved are truly open in nature, and this will encourage others to use it for a multitude of different applications. In the bottom left-hand panel, you are required to provide specific details about the resource so that it can be attributed when used by others. The first field, title of work, is descriptive enough. Provide your resource with a name or a title. In the second field, insert the author, creator, or institutional name that needs to be attributed. The third field, attribute work to URL, provides you with an opportunity to insert the web address of where that resource will reside. Should you have used an OER and adapted it in this new derivative, then you can insert the URL of the original source material in the fourth field. The field entitled Format of Work allows you to identify what format the resource is. Is it audio, video, image, text, a data set? or perhaps it's interactive. Should it be a combination, then you'd use multiple formats. The final field, license mark, asks if you want the license for a web page, HTML, or for an offline document, such as a word processor file that will be printed out. In the bottom right panel, 
is a tool that generates the final license. In our example, we're going to choose an HTML license. You'll notice that the HTML code or the markup language is now available on the right panel. We simply click it, select and copy. Then we move to our application, our web application, where we're going to use this code. In this example, uh, we are using a blogging tool. And in the edit screen, you'll see there's an HTML button. We click on HTML. And this is where we can paste in the code. Uh, when we have a look at it now, we should see that there is a particular uh, license available uh, in the blog. And when we push the update button, then we can actually see what it looks like on the final product. Now you too can have a professional looking Creative Commons license for your open education resource.